Hi again, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Stamp Manage USA 2016. We just released it. It's uh, late January uh, 2016, and we've just released it in the last few days. So when you've um, installed the program, first thing you're going to see basically is a blank screen, unless you've been using the de demo version. Uh, but if you just purchased the program and have not used it before, you'll see a screen similar to this. Uh, so to get started using the program, basically what you're going to do is just um, you're going to start inventorying your collection. So uh, right here we have an Add Stamp uh, Toolbar button. You click on that, and what you're going to do is pick from the database of stamps we include with with the software, and uh, pick the stamps you have. Add details such as condition, cost, things like that and um, then you're going to add them to your inventory. So one of the one thing you'll notice if you've used uh, Stamp Manager before is uh, we've changed the um, country category section. So now you're going to see flags for each country. We try and include visual cues like that whenever possible because it uh, makes it easier to use software when you have little visual cues like that. So um, so you've got, let's say you've got some stamps from the United States, so you get an American flag there. Uh, expand that section and uh, you're going to specify which category you have. Let's say you're just using, you're just adding general issue stamps. So you click on this. Uh, by the way, um, if you've used the software before, you'll notice that uh, our add stamp dialog here has been uh, redesigned. Uh, first of all, we made it bigger. A lot of people now have big screens with l much uh, higher resolution than back in the day when Stamp Manage was, was first released. So we made it bigger, first of all. Then we moved the country category to the upper left. We made it taller so you can see more more data at a time. We've had, we've made the uh, stamp variety list here taller as well, so you'll probably see about three or four more varieties in the list. And we've uh, we've also made this uh, the image window bigger, so you the stamps uh, images will be in in many cases will be in better resolution uh, than they were previously. Um, so. Uh, and by the way, if you don't see the screen, if you see the old screen, it's probably because you're using a screen that has a lower resolution. It's not just not going to fit this dialog. So anyway, uh, so let's say um, uh, we have Scott number 73 and we want to enter it. Now, one way you can do that is you can scroll or you can just click here and type in the Scott number. So I'm going to type in 73 and it automatically jumps down to Scott number 73. And now we just need to fill in the information. We don't, it's not mandatory to fill in all this information, but let's say our stamp is meant uh, fine. You just click here, it'll automatically enter the value. If you want to enter your own value, you can do that. You just uh, type it in manually. So let's say uh, we want to type in our own value, just type in 195.00. Uh, you can enter additional information. Hinged, let's see, it's lightly hinged. Uh, etc. Now on the second tab here is additional information you can add. So you can enter a short description, uh, who you bought it from, uh, comments, defects, topics. Topics can be important. And if it's a first day cover, you can uh, enter in ca cachet maker information, uh, play, if it's a plate block, plate block info, etc. etc. So uh, here we've got a picture of the stamp. Uh, another new feature in 2016 is we uh, let you add images using a uh, webcam. So if you've got a webcam, you want to take instant pictures of your stamp, you can do that. Uh, you can also import import any type of graphics file or scan, a, scan the data indirectly. But for now, we're just going to add this stamp. So we click OK, and there's the information. All information is here listed, and when we click on the stamp, we're going to see the, the details for that uh, specific stamp. Uh, in 2016, we've added a value table here, so every time you enter a stamp, you're going to see a complete value table for that stamp in all grades, which can be helpful. And let me just show you another new feature. Collectors.com is a new website, and it uh, it has pretty uh, quite a few listings from USA stamps now. So if I right mouse click on Scott number 73 and select Show Collectors.com matches. You're going to see a 
it's going to bring up all the listings it has for Scott number 73. And our software already has a, um, an eBay search, but one of the beauty, the beauty of this uh, collectors.com is in, in addition to eBay results, it also shows you results from specific stamp companies that I believe I believe they signed up for collectors.com. I'm not really not sure how that works, but uh, so for example, Miller's, Miller's Stamp Company, um, got a lot of eBay results here, quite a few eBay results, uh, but as you can see here, I've got 32 pages of of results, so let me click on the next one. And again, another page of results here. So, anyway, uh, I'll let you go ahead and use that. Um, and uh, it's it's just it's. It's got quite a few uh, USA stamp listings. I think it's the goal is to cover the whole world, but right now it's mostly United States. It does have some Canada stamps, but I'm sure in this this year it'll, you'll see, start seeing a lot better, a lot more uh, results. So, anyway, that's in addition to the eBay and uh, bid start feature we also already have. So, if you haven't noticed yet, you can already search uh, eBay or bid start. So let's go ahead and search bid start. And there you're going to get all the listings for Scott number 73. Now, after you've entered a stamp, if you want to edit the details, let's say you made a mistake or you want to enter additional information, just double click on the entry. So I can double click here and let's say I want to uh, change the centering to uh, fine. Just go ahead and do that. And As you can see here, the centering has been changed to fine. Uh, so you can just double click on the stamp, which, usually, which is usually what you would do. You could also right mouse click and select properties or alt enter. If you see these little uh, short, these little uh, items on the right here, there's a key keyboard shortcut. So for um, selecting properties of stamp, you just hold down the alt key and select enter and it accomplishes the same thing. So. Uh, let's see what next we have multiple one one of the great things about stamp manage uh, compared to a lot of other similar software is you can easily create multiple collections and let's say you've got a house and household and you've got perhaps you split your your you've got a huge stamp collection you split it into separate collections or you've got two people in the house that um, collect stamps or maybe you're just uh, inventorying your father's collection as well as your own so what you can do is just uh, select um, create new collection sorry where's that yeah right here create collection and you can enter the name of the collection so you just say dad's dad's collection okay and so now you can enter stamps into either one of those collections and you can run report on specifically on one collection as well. So let's say you've got dad's collection and you want to enter stamps for that. You just do the same thing, add stamp, Puerto Rico. So um, now if you need to move stamps between collections, let's say you want to move this to my collection, you added it to the wrong collection, all you have to do is just drag it. So you select it, drag it here, and the stamp will be moved over there instantly. You could also take, I guess, what is the uh, more difficult way, but uh, you can move stamps as well. So let's see, where is that? Yeah, right here. Move stamp. It's gonna ask you which stamp you want to, which collection you want to move it to. So dad's collection. Okay, it gets moved to dad's collection. So running reports. Now here you've got a list of reports. Now all these reports here are going to operate on all the data in the all all the stamps that you've entered that are not. In the sold want list or deleted stamps folder so everything that's valid 
in, in one or more of your collections. So let's say we want to select simple list of stamps by Scott number. Just click on that. Now here you're going to be presented a list of possible you c possible export uh, destinations. You can print it right out to your printer. You could preview it, send it to Adobe PDF format, you name it. So uh, if you want to preview it to see what it's going to look like before you actually print it out, just click Start, and that shows you right there. Close print, free print preview. Now another way to easily print things out is uh, the print button and what that's going to do is it's going to operate on the currently selected item so my collection print it's going to just uh, show you output for the currently selected uh, collection close print preview or you could go ahead and print it um, and Another thing you can do here is if you want to change the order or change what columns show up, you can do that here as well. Now in the main display, if you want to change columns, just select Tools, Preferences, Columns. And here you've got a drop down and it's going to show you what uh, columns show for, depending on what specific type of uh, of uh, item you have to select it. So if you're selecting a collection, right now I'm selecting a collection, um, these are the columns that are going to show up. Now if you want to change that, let's say you want to change Scott number to the second uh, second uh, column, you just drag it up there, click OK, and you can see the change is instantaneous. And Tools Preference again, Columns. Now, if you want to change what country shows, when you select a country, same concept. Let's see, I'm going to move that up here. Click OK. Now, when I click on a column, Scott number shows up ahead of stamp type. Okay, um, I think I've gone on long enough, uh, 12 minutes so far. So, um, that's just a brief overview of how to get started using Stamp Manage. Go ahead and experiment. If you have any questions, uh, you may want to check out our forums. We have got a lot of uh, additional videos that are uh, more advanced than this one, so go ahead and look at those if you can. Uh, subscribe to our video channel. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.